Hello, hello, it's time for a boxy charm unboxing. I enjoy this box. This is a monthly subscription box that I get from boxycharm.com. This gives me five, I think they're like actual sized makeup products or beauty products. And it's just fun because you never really know what you're going to get. And I just like it. So let's see. I think that this usually tells me the price and has some the wildflower looks like the theme this time that's really cute I might use this in my um, planner for something I could just trim that off wildflower I like it and then yes so it tells you how much everything is but I don't want to look at it because I like to be surprised when I'm looking at these and then I'll tell you how much they are but look at this yay so you get five regular sized things and it's fun. This is Baked Blush and Brighten. This is a sample. It's not for sale, but it's in the color Tropic Hues. And it's Laura Geller, New York. And it has a little half a mirror in it. And then, ooh, that is pretty. Oh my goodness, I really like that. Wow. So this is... A baked blush. I don't know what a baked blush is, but I know what blush is, so that's what that is. And so let's see. Add a gorgeous glowy flush to your cheeks with this baked blush. Stunning swirls of liquid pigment are baked in Italy for 24 hours on terracotta tiles and hand finished into a silky dome of powder. This smooth and long wearing formula is paraben free and infused with skin loving antioxidants. The manufacturer's retail price is $28. And I didn't tell you how much this box is because I don't remember. I think it's $30 a month, $29. It's in the 20, it's in the $30 to $35 price range. So already with just this, I've made, you know, I've I've broken even. So I don't know. I think it's kind of neat. If you want to try it, I said go for it. And then there are some fun looking brushes. I'm not sure what they are. This says Alamar Cosmetics Huitos Brush Set. I know I'm butchering that. Made with 100% synthetic fibers, these brushes are extremely soft, durable, and essentially an essential to your brush collection. The flat painter brush, this one, I guess, effortlessly applies color into your lids, while the fluffy blender brush can be used to seamlessly blend colors together. The flat tight liner brush, oh sorry, this was the first one. The flat tight liner brush is perfect for direct color applications on your lash lines. So the manufacturer suggested retail price for these is $18. And they seem nice, but again, as I did with other brushes that I have been getting recently, I am going to put these back in the plastic and I will use these when I need them because I have a plethora of brushes right now. So I'm going to keep these new and fresh so when I need them I will have some new brushes. The next thing I have here is Petal Pusher Lip Aesthetic Matte Liquid Lipstick by Hank and Henry. Oh, that's cute. Little owl. Um, let's see, do, 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 do. Hank and Henry liquid lipstick. Have your cake and wear it too. This frosting scented long wear lipstick glides on smoothly while its vitamin E infused formula gives your lips the youthful look they deserve. It's highly pigmented and dries to a stunning full coverage matte finish that never dries your lips and never transfers. Well, it scares me because I don't know how to open it without getting lipstick everywhere. And is it... Ugh. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being such a wimp or a... I just don't want to I'm afraid that I'm you know how you when you open something and sometimes it like kind of goes back and I'm afraid with all this lipstick sitting out there I'm gonna totally ruin it oh maybe I have to unscrew it oh how weird okay you have to unscrew it Oh, that is bizarro. I was thinking I didn't like how it was put in there, but that is even weirder than I thought. 
Oh my gosh, it is cake scented. Oh, it smells good. This is bizarro, but, and I don't want to put too much on. That almost needs to come with an instructions. Unscrew. Because it, I mean, that totally looks like it's the lipstick, right? You guys probably knew. I'm not that smart. Well, that's not true. I'm no dummy <laughs> about most things, but sometimes, clearly, <laughs> I am. Okay, it's a pretty color. I really like this color. Let's see how it dries before the end. Oh, and I didn't tell you how much that is. $17. I have a, a mascara, maybe? Stroke of Wow Roll On Precision Liner. And this is by Butter, and it says Shake Me Up. Create precise, ultra-fine winged liner looks with this innovative liquid liner. The ergonomic handle gives you insane control while, cre while creating your liner looks. The roll-on applicator does all of the work for you while delivering a pitch black pigment that means even your boldest standard that meets even your boldest standards. Created with a longevity complex, this quick drying smudge proof formula is guaranteed to last. Okay, and that opens kind of nicely. Oh wow, and it is on a little roller, see that? Can you guys see that roller? That is so weird. So let's see here. It's like a wheelbarrow. Oh my goodness. I could draw a little picture. I need some practice. This was so going to be a cat, but because I messed up there, it has to be a dog because he needs long ears. <laughs> oh, I need some more. Kind of giving you the side eye. Let's give him a little bit of hair. A little mohawk like the hat I made. <laughs> but wow! I know I'm a dork, but that is pretty cool. Now, I don't ever do like winged liner. Is that still a thing? And can people over 40 do that? Or do I need to give this to my kid? Oh man. I could play with this for hours. That is pretty cool. And look how it's like, I don't know if you can see that in there, but it's like got little plastic fingers. So when you put this in and you take it out, it, it totally like cleans it off. That is so cool. This is awesome. So if you needed to do a winged liner, I guess we'll pretend like my eyes on here and we would go zoop. I guess, I don't know. And then you could fill it in however you wanted to to make it as thick as you wanted. I don't know. I don't know exactly what I'm doing because I have not ever done winged liner. Or maybe you just stick it out like you just, I don't know. But you can totally make like a thin line. Okay, I'm having entirely too much fun. I could use this as an ink pen all day long. And then it just kind of twists on and like locks in place. It's, you can kind of hear it click. That is so cool. I am loving that. That's not distracting at all, is it? Okay, and then last, but not least, I think. Oh, I didn't tell you how much that is. That manufacturer retail price is $19. Worth twice as much in my opinion. <laughs> no, I don't know. But seriously, I am loving that. I don't need a whole, I don't need a whole quarter of this. I'm just gonna cut off a little bit. My dog is over there whining. I don't know if you can hear him. I drew a puppy. Look, I drew it a puppy. I drew it a puppy for my puppy because I loved him. 
I loved him. I loved him. Oh, wow. It comes off weird. Look at that. But still pretty cool. I don't know. I am intrigued with this. That is super neat. I mean, it comes off really nicely. And this lipstick is pretty impressive. So it doesn't move much. I mean, I get a little bit of transfer, but I mean, I'm rubbing it. So, wow, I am impressed. This is impressive. I am liking this. All of this. I was going to say for sure the Laura Geller was my favorite when I first started, but now I can't say that. I don't know. I love that lipstick. I love the color, but this is so much fun to use, but I just don't know that I would use it to how it's supposed to be used. I'll use it to play, but okay. Anyway, moving along to the Nightingale Pretty Vulgar, <laughs> that's funny, eyeshadow palette. And this says, smoky eyeshadow palette, so that sounds good, made up of 12 highly pigmented shades. The Nightingale, Nightingale palette is sure to make help you create your best looks. The matte, shimmer, and satin shades are soft in texture and the luxuriously smooth formula makes for easy blending and long wearing. Now this retails for $35. So let's open it up and see what we got. Oh boy, these are my colors. I am loving it. And there is a nice little mirror. It's covered up with something, which is good. Woo, who's that good looking chick in there? <laughs> oh, that's just me. <laughs> I'll cover that up so that... And look at the lovelies. That's pretty. Um, okay, so here are the colors. There's Nocturnal, Pillow Fight, Break Free, Dark Side, Hide and Seek, Clutch, Flip Out, I Spy, and then here are my favorites, Silver Spoon, All Nighter, After Midnight, and then Swoop. So these three and this one will get the most use for me for sure. But I do like a little bit of shimmery shake. So I could use these two or this one even or either of those two for maybe a primer. So I said I wasn't going to use the brushes, but I really don't want to use my finger. So, oh, well, I'm just going to use the brush. I'm going to use this one. So let's do a little bit of break free. Yeah, it's a nice shiny, just, I don't even know if you can see it, but in real life you can see it just barely. Pillow fight. Now it does kind of clump. I don't know if you can see that. This, maybe you can see how it's like got little, it's weird. I don't know. That's kind of weird to me. That one is a little bit more than the law will allow. No, sorry, I'm singing the Duke of Hazard. When I said that, it reminded me of it, so I just had to share it. Yeah, it's very weird. I don't like how it like comes up on my brush and kind of beads. It's very weird. I mean, I think it's pretty. And that one is very matte, this one is, but look at that, I hate that. Like I have to blow that away. I just don't like it. So let me go down here to these prettier shades for me. That one still does it. And this looks very pigmented. So I'm going to... Oh, but it's a nice smoky... I do like it. And it does seem to blend pretty well. Alright, I take back some of the nasty I thought about you. Silver spoons. That doesn't seem to be silver spoons. <sighs> For those of you that know what I'm talking about, you're old too. <laughs> oh, goodness. Ricky Schroeder, man. Um, no, I like it. I like it. These don't seem to be pull, pulling, pi, pilling. I don't know what the word is. That one's really not my color much as I thought it might be, but it's not. Let's see what this clutch is about. Oh yeah, that's better. I like that one. Because it's just a real subtle brown. I don't like brown eyeshadow on me. 
I know that lots of people do, but it kind of works out for me because my daughter does, so she can have the black, the brown. So what I usually do is I'll use what I want, and then I just give her the used up. It's not really though, because hers are still new. You know what I mean. We don't care, and she'll do the same for me. Yeah, that one's kind of a nice color too. So actually, all of those, looking at all of them together is a hot mess, but you know what I mean. I would never wear like this, obviously. But in swatching, I can see how they all kind of go together in a palette. And I could maybe see using some of them, like mixing and matching a little bit. So yeah, that's not so bad. I don't know. In all honesty, I do know. I would not spend $35 on this palette. I like it. But unless I really needed makeup for whatever reason, if I had forgotten it and was out somewhere, I probably would just go without. But let's say I had a meeting or something for work and I forgot my makeup. I would want to wear makeup for a work event. So let's say that was the case. I would spend $35 on this. I mean, it is, it's, it's, it's not like so outrageous that I'd be like, you're crazy. I'm not buying that. Actually, none of this was that crazy. I expected the lipstick to be more. But would they? Would I say it was nineteen dollars? Seventeen dollars. This was nineteen. This is a lot. But honestly, it's so cool and innovative to me that I don't think it's too too much. Now, would I spend full price on it? Probably not. Actually, I I know I would not. Um, and I probably wouldn't spend eighteen dollars on three brushes. But I have spent more for less brushes, like I've spent $35 on one brush from it if I knew what it was. Like if I'm if I'm confident that I'm going to love the brush and like the it brushes are so dense and oh I love them. So those I will spend more on. Now if I knew that this brand was something that I loved, I would. I mean $18 for three brushes isn't out of the question, but it's probably not my first choice. Um, so that I wouldn't spend the money on. This $17? bucks. um I need to wear it and see what I think of it, but honestly, I, I think I would spend 17 bucks on that. I don't have a problem spending 20-ish dollars on lipstick because I get a lot of use out of it. I wear lipstick every day. This is $28. I wouldn't spend $28 on a blush, probably ever, but I do like this blush. It is very pretty. So that's my take on it. Take it for what you will. I mean, you guys do you. We all spend our money differently and you know you earn it you spend it how you want so thanks for watching guys and I hope that you have a wonderful day and again this is boxycharm and check it out I think you might like it bye bye